Hi, church family. During the last two messages, we have identified that God intricately and specifically designed you to be who you are, to make a difference for his kingdom. You have a God-given purpose that only you can fulfill. You are needed by the body of Christ, your church, and the world around you. You are a unique piece of the puzzle in his indescribable masterpiece. You have your own shape and picture, and only you can fit into your spot. It is really exciting to figure out and appreciate how God created you individually. It is really encouraging to know that you are valuable and you were made intentionally for such a time as this. But there is another side to serving God. Serving God and being faithful to the good works that he prepared in advance for us to do. We talked about that earlier this week in Ephesians 2.10. It takes a surrendered life. Our ultimate purpose in life is to love God and love others. We love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Another way to understand that is that we love him with our passions, with our emotions, our thoughts, and our actions. How do we love others? Philippians 2, 3 through 5 tells us, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. In your relationship with one another, have the same mindset of Christ. Romans 12, 9 through 10 tells us, Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another honor one another above yourselves. We love others by putting them first, by preferring them, by doing what is best for them, not ourselves, by living out the golden rule, by dying to our desires to be right, self-focused, selfish, greedy, offended, and understood. Love, God's love, is sacrificial. It costs us something. We can't separate his love from sacrifice. Sacrifice is the very foundation of our faith. We became a child of God by believing in Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. God the Father sacrificed his son as a payment for our sins. Jesus was willing to lay down his life as a sacrifice for our sins. Love, real love, will cost us something. It will cost us our time, attention, resources, and comfort. Matthew 20, 28 tells us that Jesus did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. But we will never be satisfied with life until we are willing to make Jesus our Lord and start the adventure we were created for. Bless you all. Love you. May we run with endurance the race that God has set before us. And may his will be done in each of our lives as we live our lives fully devoted to him and to each other. Blessings.